Hi guys and welcome back to part two of the Mum's Makery Christmas in June special. So in part one uh, we had a live make, we had some new projects that we're bringing to you and um, you know the usual tomfoolery that happens when I get behind a camera <laughs> or in front of a camera. So in part two um, it's a slightly different. Uh, we are going to be doing a live make. Now, normally I would be doing the kit number two from the event bag, um, but as there is a PDF, which should have gone live during the break. So if you check your accounts at any point, the um, event bag PDF, where there was a placeholder, there should now be the actual PDF uh, for all of the makes. So the... Um, Santa decorations, <laughs> the Santa trousers uh, or Santa shorts, which is in the kit number two, and the cracker template, which is in the kit surprise. There's also obviously some other goodies in the event bag as well. So, um, first, I'm going to start this uh, top of this hour uh, by uh, a congratulations. Fluff Club, uh, we have a monthly uh, draw for the winner of uh, a, a sort of a fluffy prize. And this month's or last month's winner was Angie Burgess. So congratulations, Angie. Um, I hope you will enjoy your fluffy prize that will be winging its way to you very shortly. So uh, speaking of Fluff Club, uh, let's just do the, the, the whole kind of quick recap thing. So we do, of course, have a Wobbly Shelves event happening this weekend. So any orders that are placed over £30, it is one per customer. Um, so any orders placed that are over £30 or combined orders that total £30 uh, will have a grab bag of fluffy fibres and goodies included um, as a free gift. Now that should get automatically added to your cart as you go through the checkouts process. So just give it a weather die and just make sure that it's there. Any issues, obviously just use that chat with us button on the website and I will be on hand to help you out. But if you are a Fluff Club member, then there is also another additional free gift for our club members, which is a template. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but you are going to love it. Now, the, te the PDF for that template will go live in Fluff Club. I'll put it live sort of Tuesday um, because Monday here is a, is a bit manic. So uh, with the orders placed, do bear in mind that it can take me between one and four days to process all of the orders after an event. So if your order isn't noted as dispatched on Monday, I will be getting it out to you ASAP. But I will, I will have the, the pixies at the ready to, uh, to do the packing. So hopefully we should get everything out in a timely manner for you. Again, any questions, just hit up that chat with us button on the website and we will reply as soon as we can. Um, right, there was something, oh, I've got a button for it now. Yay. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to just start by doing a little recap of um, the, the new product launches and uh, and then we'll sort of hop straight in uh, with a Flingo game. So, or should we do the Flingo game first? Let's do a quick, a very quick recap. So we've got some new product. This is going to be a whirlwind kind of whiz through the product launches. We've got a brand new template set, which is the ice skates. Um, there are three sizes. It's a six template set. So you get three boots and three blades. Uh, we have, it's new to the website, but it's a not a new thing. It was a member exclusive back, I think, last year. Uh, but the chocolate mug template um, is now available on or will be available. Everything will be available after the end of this show within about five or ten minutes. The Winter Penguin is a brand new project, a new template set, which will be winging its way to you after the show. And of course, we've then got the festive turkey or the turkey template set. And this is, I'm actually wearing one right now. And it's such a fab and fun little make. But we do, of course, then have quirky turkey. And we, uh, in fact, I will just um, 
quirky turkey was not behaving itself in the break. <laughs> I love it. So I was like, we've got carrots, felted carrots and felted sprouts. And Pete went and got the roasting tray. <laughs> So I, I got most of the giggling out of my system. So we're all right. We're gonna we're gonna move <laughs> move swiftly on. The sunbathing bunny um, is uh, new. Obviously, it was on Create and Craft uh, back a couple of weeks ago, but it is now available on the website, and you get everything in a beautiful organza bag to make that uh, to make that kit, including the hoop, and you get the sun catcher crystal and everything as well. Um, the journals, I will touch again on the journals uh, very, very briefly um, after this sort of rundown. The Garden Gnome project, uh, that is now available. It is available as its own project. It is available as a bundle with the Santa Gnome, and that's a lovely discounted price if you buy both of them together. If you already have the Santa Gnome, then there is an option to buy just the materials pack for the Garden Gnome, because obviously two of the templates you will already have if you've got the Santa Gnome. And of course, my favorite, the Iris project. Um, this has been a little bit of a, a project of love. It's been on the back burner for quite a while, um, but it's it's a it's a beautiful flower. It's a lovely project, and I think you guys are really really going to love making it. And then, of course, if you are a Fluff Club member, there is that exclusive template which you will only find in the members shop, which are the Scotty dogs. So it is an absolutely great time to join Fluff Club because you get the extra free gift. There is the additional template set, and there will also be a PDF coming. Uh, not this coming week, but the week after for the Santa hanging, uh, Santa gnome hanging ball ball decoration. I don't know what to call it now. I'm almost afraid to use the word ball. <laughs> oh, the angel wings. Yeah, I did forget the angel wings. My bad. <laughs> I was traumatized. I don't know what to tell you, mate. <laughs> There are, um, there's a little set of angel wings, uh, which will also be live. There's um, an absolutely great little resource for you guys. It is the Everything Festive at Mum's Makery page, and it is on the website. I'll drop a link into the comments for you. Um, visit that, web, that sort of page on the website, and that's going to give you a whole rundown of what's new, what's seasonal, what's in the shop all year round. Um, and don't forget, as a Fluff Club member, you can also have access to out of season products all year round. So yeah, another great benefit um, for joining the club. And if you join the club and then go through the checkout, you will be entitled to all of those free gifts as well, but you must be a member of the club first. So, okay, let's make something. To be fair, what I've got to make is actually quite quick. Case, let's play Flingo. Let's play Flingo. <laughs> I feel like Flingo should have a theme tune too. Wobbly Shelves has a theme tune. Yeah. But that's fine. So if you have bought the event pack, you will know that in said event pack is a Flingo card and a raffle ticket. We're going to play Flingo. I'm so glad that worked. <laughs> and on your card, you're going to have 10 colors. And each of those colors will be in this pot somewhere. So basically, Flingo is fluff bingo. What you have to do is cross off all 10, not five, not seven, not 12, 10. You must cross off all 10 and type Flingo into your live chat. Now, please be aware that we are simultaneously live on Facebook and YouTube. Pixie B has, uh, uh, Pixie Overwatch, as we like to call her, um, is monitoring said chat, and it will be the first person that she sees calling out the name, and then I will tell you who has called out. So just because you're the first person in your chat that has called out, don't think that... Um, Somebody in the other chat may have called out before you, but we will endeavor uh, to make it as painless as possible. Somebody looks like they want to tell me something. They were just asking if the journal will be available 
available on the um, Amazon US. Oh, it is. It is, but there's just a bazillion links for all the different countries. So I just opted for the um, UK one. <laughs> up the US one. Yeah, yeah. If you a uh, pixie, my my pixie right hand pixie, who's actually probably more the boss. She's so bossy. She really is. She really is. She's like, we, we stopped to set the, the first broadcast. And she's like, have you done this? Have you done this? Have you done this? I'm like, I've just stopped. <laughs> she's like, chop, chop, come on. <laughs> she's so bossy. Everybody thinks she's so nice. She rules with an iron pixie fist. What's this? I don't know what this is. Pixie Sarah wants to know where the booper buffers are. Oh. <laughs> pixie Sarah, I'm thinking of a word. Just one. I don't know where the booper boppers are. Probably with boop. <laughs> I don't know. They were, they were. I will, I will endeavor. Sorry, I, this, I got distracted by the, I'm like, what's this? <laughs> so, um, grab your Flingo card. I'm going to be drawing the, um, the colors and then you're going to cross them off and hopefully they'll appear in said chat box okay so let's get stuck into this the first color is white followed by black a very monochrome start to things ah come here next one dusky pink Cranberry. It's a nice Christmassy colour, that one. Deep green. And then we've got mustard. Sky. Autumn gold. Violet. Oh, <laughs> that one's <was> off. <laughs> okay, he's over there. Pink. Buttercream. Lichen. Emerald. My goal is to try and go so fast that Pete can't keep up typing. <laughs> Are you ready? It's a quick fire round. <laughs> Bright peach. Harvest Gold, that's what we like, the long names, <laughs> Cornflower Blue, <laughs> Chinchilla, I love the chinchilla colour, it's really nice and, let me just hold that up to the camera a bit more, focus, focus camera, focus, Storm, Again, another sort of variegated colour. Absolutely beautiful. Do, 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 do. Burnt orange. Bright green. Warm brown. Moss. Fuchsia. Candy floss. Daffodil. Sugar plum. I feel like we need like elevator music going in the background. 
lilac. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Damson. Do, 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 do. Bright yellow. I'm just going to take this opportunity to talk to Sarah and go, pink fluffy unicorns dancing on rainbows. <laughs> And for those of you not in the know, it's this TikTok that is just, it's such an earworm and it just kept coming up on my feed. So every time it comes up on my feed, I copy it to Sarah and send her a message with it in. And I think she stopped replying to my messages after about, I sent it to her for about 24 times. So I kind of figured that if I do it live, she can't get away with it. <laughs> Not that I'm abusing my position live on air. <laughs> Mary God, apparently I sent it to her eight times. <laughs> Chocolate. And the next one is French blue. Somebody's got to be getting close now. Dark brown. It's thinning out in the bowl. Hot pink. Pastel blue. I do like this game because it, you know, I get to go through the colours. Evergreen. Bright red. Orange fizz. Fox. Wine. Off white. So I'm just going to pop back in to you guys and so when you call out Flingo, um, obviously as I said Pixie B will tell me who has called out first. We're going to have two winners and what you win is the first five colours, 10 grams of the first five colours that are on your Flingo card. So if you are announced as a winner, if you could please send a picture of your completed Flingo card to Makery Pixies. That's makerypixies with an S at gmail.com. Um, and then we can confirm um, that you are indeed a winner. But obviously, um, when you type Flingo in, we will let you know who has called out first and second. And light purple. Pumpkin. Persian green. <gasps> Somebody's got to be so close. Magenta. Natural cotton. Arctic grey. <laughs> we only got a few colours left. Flingo. Oh, we have one Flingo. From Kaylee Mail. Kaylee Mail. Facebook. Awesome. That's a first winner on um, on Facebook. Kaylee, if you can um, email your Flingo card to makerypixies at gmail.com. And we're going to go until we could. Oh, have we got another one? We did. Oh, no. Same person called out twice. <laughs> oh, Susan oh it is another one. Okay, hang on. Hold the phone. Susan T. Susan T. And she's on YouTube. And she's on, oh, we had one winner from Facebook and one winner from YouTube. That's brilliant. So Suzanne and Kaylee, if you can email your um, picture of your ticket to makerypixies at gmail.com and we will confirm your wins and uh, then your uh, fluffy prize will be in the post to you. Toot sweets. So. I'm going to put that there. Um, 
and bring you back. There we go. So that's that's the flingo game. We will be doing the raffle. Um, I need to give you something pretty to look at. <laughs> Here, have a look at that <laughs> whilst I grab the bowl, run round the table and give that to Pixie B to sort out because we only have one bowl. Um, Ta-da! <laughs> <You've done laughs> She's just emptied everything out of one bowl, shoved everything in the other bowl. And she's like, here but I'm back here now. I will come round and, uh, and get that in, in a moment. So, a um, couple of quick little things. I probably did mention them in the first broadcast as well. Um, the 12 months of Christmas. What this is, um, every month we do a little make of something. Uh, so far we've done mead making and we've done uh, chutney making and we've done some wild garlic stuff this month is um, rolled candles which you can see down here and it's just a little series that we're doing that every month you make or do something which then by the end of the month oh sorry by the end of the year you have a whole pile of goodies for homemade gift baskets and if memory serves so I rolled candles was last month. We're in June now. Oh, that's half the year gone. Half the year. I know. Oh my God. So um, this month, I believe, is jam making. And I'm going to show you how to make some absolutely super strawberry jam. We like strawberry jam. B likes my strawberry jam as well, which is why I never have any. Don't think I don't know that you don't sneak off into my pantry, Miss Hobbs. <laughs> so um let's see what else have we got to do i will be back on creating craft at the start of um july for their christmas show and we've got some very exciting new things coming for you um as well is that it can i make the thing now yes yes oh, thank you so much so in your event kit, you've got this accessory pack and this accessory pack makes this star, snowflake, star, star flake, snowflake. Um, there's not the key ring attachment, there's a loop attachment, but you can possibly see them. If I take this down, <laughs> right, I'm going to put you on the overhead camera. Whilst the, no, I'm not even going to attempt to get it down but I'm going to take these off. There we go. So there's one that's been done on the full size of the star. And this is the one that we're actually making today. Now, because the templates in the other bags have, uh, or in the event bag has um, a PDF tutorial. I thought I would use the time to demonstrate this one. And it is so unbelievably simple. These things are so quick to make. So in here, you've got your little bead packet. You've got your star shape. And you've got your uh, your little sort of loop, loop shape. Now, you are going to need... Uh, quite a sturdy pair of wire cutters uh, for this um, little guy here because he is really, really strong. Um, get your little beads and many of you may know that I've gotten quite intimate. I can't get into the packet. <laughs> I'm just going to start here and fiddle with this. Many of you know that I've got into, um, we're starting to include beads in a lot of our event packs and, um, oh, there we go, and boxes and stuff um, because I just feel that it really does complement um, the, the, the craft that we do. And, you know, who doesn't like a little bit of beading? Out. Oh, God. So... In your, it doesn't want to 
come out get out there we go in your little packet you will see that there are uh, a few different types of beads you've i'm going to zoom in a lot with this there we go let's try that so you've got these little rubbery uh, stops now they're for right on the very end I always like to start by sorting out um, sorting out my beads which I probably should have done prior to going live <laughs> but to be honest it's such a lovely day and we were sat round um, on the deck and uh, B was having a nice a nice drink sat with her feet up on the deck just you know <laughs> so I'm going to sort out my I've got the wrong glasses on uh, I'm going to sort out my little beads which I'm really not doing too well at doing so you have these little pearls and I do apologise if my hair gets in the way <laughs> you should have these little pearls then you've got these little stops, these little rubber stops. Then there are some sort of crystally, I don't know what you call them, shaped ones. They're like, oh, hang on, where are we? Let's see if it'll focus. Will it focus? No. No, it's like they're little faceted type crystal shapes. There's probably a, a really good word for what these are but I don't know what it is so right and then you've got these seed beads so and this is oh my goodness this is just so quick and simple to make and sometimes do you know what it's really really nice just to have a quick something that you can make that is really really quick it's a really quick satisfying thing that you can just pop together in a few minutes and it's like look I made it yay me <laughs> bicones bi is that what they're <laughs> can you I'm not a beader I like beading but I'm not a beader right so oh, I've got to try and remember how to do this now save the rubbery ones to one side and then you should have enough beads to do this sequence so you start with uh, a seed bead Oop. she says and this is where I lose them and they ping off everywhere so you start with a seed bead <laughs> bear with me folks while I uh, just move these into a I'm not going to fling them off the mat sort of position and you're going to repeat this on all of these um, spokes so we start with a seed bead and then we go on with a pearl and then sorry no not the pearl the white, the white large bead, that one. These are the pearls. Those are the white large beads. So, seed bead, white large bead. Seed bead, then your pearl. And then a seed bead. <laughs> oh, as soon as the camera's alive, it all goes wrong. Uh, and then your bicarb, bicarb. <laughs> your bi, bi, what is it? Bicone. A bicone. And then a seed bead. Oops, I missed. If I don't want to do that, because if I do that, it's all going to slip off and I don't want to say it's going remarkably well but um, so we've got seed bead white bead seed bead pearl sea bead bicone seed bead 
and then whop on your stopper like so these things are great absolutely great I love these things so and you're going to go round and repeat this so seed bead white in fact I can zoom that a little bit back out now Uh, seed bead pearl. <laughs> he doesn't want to play. This is where I ch chase it all over the mat. So seed bead white bead, seed bead pearl bead, seed bead bicone, seed bead stopper. That's your... I mean, to be honest, you could do it in any order you wanted. This is just... It doesn't want to go on. <laughs> Hang on. Let me chase this around the mat. I'm going to pick a different one. That one doesn't like me. There we go. And then end it with another seed bead before my stopper. And that's what you're going to do all the way around all five of those so I feel like this is a make that I can actually do with you guys <laughs> even pixie bees quiet are you making one as well no I'm just looking at all the comments saying they're biplanes they're biplanes okay <laughs> everyone's been very helpful yay <laughs> Beading, it is it is quite fiddly. It's fiddlier when you're impeded by wearing the wrong glasses. But you know, oh, everything's blurry. <laughs> I've got a feeling that this one is just not. It just doesn't want. Oh, there we go. On you go. And beading, I do find beading quite therapeutic when I'm not on camera trying to do it. <laughs> we had um we had a lovely day beading, didn't we, B? Oh. Beading with B. It could be a new series. <laughs> Don't encourage that. Don't <laughs> <laughs> What do you think folks? Should we have a, a little beading a little beading segment? Beading with B. She's very good at it. I'm gonna look Look at what she made me. Isn't it lovely? And it's for keeping my needles in. She's so clever. I think this goes on that way. There we go. Yeah, but look. Absolutely lovely. And it's all beaded around one of these. Um, it's a wooden tube, isn't it? Yes. Wooden, wooden yeah. bead tube or a needle tube. And... Uh, yeah, I think that's a bit ambitious for me. I'll stick to my, my snowflakes. <laughs> I can just about manage a snowflake. We did do this one beading thing where... Um, it was going very well, but then it didn't fit, did it? Um, it was because the thing, what we were beading around was... Was like one mil too small or, or two yeah one mil too small yeah, and it will go <laughs> we do have a giggle so that's oh, that's like i'm almost done and to be honest once you get your once you get your rhythm and probably what i would say is line up your beads in the order in which you want to put them on as as, as i am not doing and I am doing it a bit random, but oh no, don't, don't don't go off. I am one of these people that talk to the thing that I'm making, so and being on camera doesn't stop that. <laughs> Where are we? Bicone. 
I'm concentrating. My tongue's out and everything, and I'm <laughs> and I'm concentrating. Which is why it just goes quiet. This is why I don't get on making things on air because I stop talking. <laughs> Last one. I've got one of these um, beading mats, which I must confess does does help um, when it comes to these things rolling around on the table which was my first experience. They are, so, uh, but you can use this. This is kind of like a, a sort of a chenille, soft piley um, type of material. Oh, I just need a coffee. Um, and it, it sort of stops the beads from just cascading everywhere. So where am I up to? That one. Yes, that one. No, don't fall off. So if you guys are like me, then you will be um, talking to your beating. <laughs> and we're almost done. It's the last one. These, these stoppers are absolutely great. We did originally um, start out by bend sort of bending and looping these back um, but I will have to do that for one of these um, it is as I said before um, this wire is very very strong so you're going to want say a a good pair of weighty pliers uh, sorry weighty wire cutters and I'm not entirely sure that my little, my little hobby ones are going to cut it, but we will see. So once you've got your bead or your beaded thing like that, then get your wire cutters and I just give it a slight depress. Oh, they're not going to cut it. I need my big heavy duty B&Q cutters. No. Oh, there it went. And we're not going to do the others because I nearly killed B. <laughs> it, it shot off towards the fireplace, don't worry, mate. Um, I'll try these cutters instead and I will put my hand over it. We just don't need to raid the husband's boxes, There we go, that's easier. So you're going to cut them all off except one. And just go round. Yeah, slightly, uh, slightly stronger wire cutters there. Okay. So I've got my my star with uh, one of the little spokes left. And how you want to do this now is obviously entirely up to you. But we're going to use this one to make um, a sort of a, a loop for this little jump ring here. And you could get some pliers. This is where, this, like I said, this thing is really strong. So... I've got, um, I've got these, let me get it out here, hang on. I've got one of these, which is, let me zoom back out a bit, nope, wrong way. And these make little loops, uh, very, very easy. So for the purpose of doing this live, <laughs> I'm going to use my little tool. And round nose pliers will, well. pliers will also work. Um, have I got some? Yes. So these are round, rounded nose pliers. Um, so obviously these are 
conical shapes so but I'm going to use this if I can remember how to use it because it's been so long Right, to the best of my knowledge it goes through there no it doesn't right hang on you waving your hands at me doesn't make me remember how to do this <laughs> I know it has to go in the hole, but there are more, there's more than no, no. Stop. Oh my goodness! Right. That has. To, oh, do you know what? I can't, I'm going to use the other ones, which I I think are probably exactly the same. But and this is where I completely just. She's making all kinds of hat. I can't see you, mate. I haven't got my glasses on. I I have eyeballs for doing close work and I have glasses for doing long distance work. And I just have to try and remember which hole this goes in. No, I can't work it out. I honestly, honestly, I cannot work it out. <laughs> they go in sideways. They go into... Is that what this was? Yeah. She was going like this. <sighs> you can tell it's live, can't you? Right, hang on, no, wrong one. We want to go over here. Right, so it don't go in that way. It goes in that way. Oh yeah, of course it does. Right, and then there's a little, that's what I was trying to find was that little hole on the side. I'm like, I've lost it and I can't see it. <laughs> so, I'm going to bring this out slightly so that my um, stopper is just there. And then you do that. Oh, there it goes. Ping. And you get this nice little loop on the top. And then... And this is why I have that little tool because um, I am so utterly abysmal at making these little loops. And once you have your little loop, then you just want to close it up so that you don't lose um, <laughs> like I just have. <laughs> Oh, you guys get the idea. Squish it down so that there is no gap there. And you have, ta-da. I feel that that was way more painful than it should have been. <laughs> and it helps if you hold the tool at the right angle. I don't know. So, there we go. That is how you make one of these little stars. And they could be, dare I say, earrings, pendant. I wouldn't necessarily want one on a bracelet, I don't think, because if you're flinging your arm about, you're going to ninja star someone. <laughs> <laughs> it, it just it's the afternoon it's really warm and I haven't had enough coffee and that's my excuse so yeah they are they are absolutely great little makes um so so quick um and yeah I I wanted to put a little something extra in the kits or in the event bags so that you could, you know, do something a little bit different. Because sometimes it's nice just to do something a little bit different. And I thought these little beaded stars. And if anyone would like to know, the gadget you use is called a looper tool. Is it? Yes. So, um, I'm all discombobulated now. Sorry. It's all right. No, no, no. It's not, it's not your fault, mate. I'm just, I was just looking at this going, I am an intelligent woman. 
I, I can use I can use software and, 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 and I can design things and I can't use a loop. This is called a looper, apparently. Um, this blue one that I've got, which B's gonna tell me is green because I'm blue green colour blind, <laughs> is a three mil looper. And this one I believe is a five mil, a five mil looper. And um, it, they just create loops in the ends of wires and they just do it effortlessly as long as you put them in the right way <laughs> there is a smaller one yeah and I think there's bigger ones as well I got those two sizes because um, they're the ones that I use um, the most but I just thought you know it would be nice just to do something a little bit different um, and you know so when you do your makes, do go along to the Facebook group and just pop uh, pop a picture in of what you've made, pop a, um, you know, a little, where you got the inspiration, you know, this is from the Mum's Makery Christmas in June event, although somehow I think that suddenly the um, Facebook group filling up with Christmas makes in the middle of summer. <laughs> might be a hint that there's something going on but do go along and join the Facebook group if you are watching live do give the um the sort of the live a, a thumbs up or a like and if you're not already subscribed to our YouTube channel please do go over and uh subscribe uh there okay cool I feel like we're we're really steaming along I've I've all I sort of finished what happened to my my Santa sphere <laughs> I'm not saying that again. <laughs> I did launch out, you didn't I? <laughs> you were just lucky I didn't throw the Christmas pudding at you. Oh, that's why I've been good. Yeah, so why you're being good yeah. in case I launched the pudding at you. <laughs> you've got you've got an awful lot of faith in my aim to get it past the camera. <laughs> this is what we're like, like all the time. So what else have we got to do? I'm going to run through very quickly the new project launches for you. Um, don't forget that you are going to want to visit the Everything Festive at Mum's Makery page and I will pop a link uh, in the chats for you now. And whilst I have you, don't forget that there is still time to join in the Pixie and Crew giveaway games. The Boss Bonus Dibs Away game, uh, that launched during the break. So you've got until tomorrow evening to join in these games. Um, we've got Pixie Sarah and the crew, and it's all happening in our Facebook group. So that's facebook.com slash groups slash mums makery. So I'm just gonna, I want to put these back, but I'm, I feel that if I do, all of this is going to come crashing down. <laughs> there, I'll put that one up there and I'll just put the big one back on. Um, I do want to very quickly run through the journal. Um, which somebody asked about. I will get all of the links. Uh, I think there's, um, there's a US, Amazon. Um, you can find them. I don't know if you can find them by literally copying the text or the title of the one that I have on the UK site and posting it in your own Amazon. Um, but we will figure it out. If you ever get stuck, just use that chat with us button on the website. And it's not a monitor chat. I'm not sat there the whole time, but it does send me an email if I'm not online um, and I will respond to you ASAP. Okay, so the journals. We, there are going to be more journals coming and I am working on one for specifically for Mum's Makery project. So you've got like weights and measures and, and all of that good stuff as well. The Boss Bonus Dibs Away prize is this journal. So you will get this, well, you won't get this one, you get that one, because I've opened this one. Um, but this is what the Boss Bonus Dibs Away game, this is what the prize is. The crew prize is this art bat which is every color green it's every color green isn't it 
Is that every colour green? Yes, it's every colour green that we have, including green sparkle and pixie bee. Um, definitely rose to the challenge on this one. Um, and you've it's, it's like 50 odd grams, isn't it? And that is what you'll win for. I feel like we've gone really like off We usually have a very good format for how we do the games and everything. And then all of a sudden this one, there's all these random prizes. <laughs> Um, and Pixie Sarah has put together this lovely kit, which includes the um, the basic birdie template and wing. And you've got all of the fibres to make said bird, as you can see on the picture. Booper bird, as he is uh, affectionately known. And I still haven't found my, my booper boppers. I have surreptitiously been looking but I haven't found them. <laughs> so back to the journals. The um, ignore this. Um, this is just because this was my um, copy uh, for just checking out what it was like and I always go the wrong way with the camera. It is a completely blank um, craft journal and <clears throat> I don't know how to describe it. The covers, they just feel really lovely. Um, it's not what I would call like a hard card. It's it's almost like it's sort of satiny on one side, but it's, it, it just it feels lovely. Um, and as I said, this is a completely blank book. So there's this one. And then this is the one that I have spent quite a lot of time um, designing for you guys. And this one is not blank. So it starts off, um, this is a 10 project book. So you can get 10 projects in this book. You've got weights and um, conversion charts and little note taking in the front. And then you've got project sections. Now each project consists of these pages. You've got new projects, so your name, You've got your project goals, thoughts and ideas, important, little checklist. Then you've got a nice little quote, a spare page, a couple of pages to attach things to. And it, it sounds like an, a, a, it's a quirky thing, but there's nothing I hate more personally than you want to staple something to a page in a book, but the page before it has got text and stuff on it or stuff. So that's why. <laughs> I just, my OCD put a lot of thought into this. So you can attach things and you can staple things on this page and you're not ruining any of your writing and stuff on this page. So that's why that's there. A couple of pages, you've got some dotty paper because you can draw shapes, um, all that kinds of stuff. Another blank page, another note page, a couple of writing pages, a couple of blank pages and then you're on to project number two. So that, all of those pages there are what you get per project. So then there's enough to do 10 in this book. And I hope you like it. Um, you can only buy it on Amazon. I haven't worked out how to get them on the website or anything. Um, but at the moment you order these directly through Amazon. If you go to the website, you'll see on the front page, there is a, a sort of a picture that says journals. If you click that, it will take you to the page, which has the links for amazon.co.uk. Um, I will endeavor to put the USA links up for USA Amazon. Um, and if you, if you need a link for your country and it's not there, then again, just use that chat with us button on the website and I will try to sort that out for you and get you the link that you need. It's all over all the Amazons. I have no idea how I managed that, but I did. <laughs> so this is a new little thing. There are going to be more journals coming. There's going to be some, maybe some stationary things coming. So we'll, we'll see, we'll see what happens with that. So other new products, obviously, the ice skates are brand spanky new um, project and there's six templates in there. You've got th three boot sizes and three blade sizes. 
the penguin template he's a new addition to the range now some of these will be seasonal some of them will be on the website all year round again that everything festive at mum's makery is your go-to the festive turkey which i am sporting myself um that's it's just such an absolutely fun make we've got the gnomes the santa gnome and the garden gnome the garden gnome is new to the website but do pay attention to the purchase options because if you have the santa gnome then you're just going to want to purchase the garden gnome materials pack not the project because otherwise you'll end up with duplicated templates um, members exclusive of course there is those scotty dogs now if you are a member of the fluff club you will know that the members um find uh sorry the members get an exclusive template set there's also going to be lots of uploads and stuff going on in the club so do go uh and join the club before you go through the checkout because then you will also qualify for that members additional free gift if you spend over 30 pounds and please um, remember that it is one per customer, one grab bag per customer and one um, member's free gift per customer. And finally, of course, we have that Iris project. And this is one that is, it is a little bit sentimental for me. Um, it has been on the, uh, as I said, the back burner for a little while. I started designing the templates and then got waylaid by other things. And it's just... I don't know, it, the, the flower is just absolutely lovely. Let me try and get you on a, a little bit more of a close up there. And it's all wired so you can create that absolutely beautiful classic sort of iris look. And it doesn't come with the pot or the foam. Um, it just comes as this. So then you can put it into whatever pot um or let's move that one out of the way and it'll focus on the other one there so it's a very simple composition and if i'm completely honest it's a very elegant composition it's a very simple structure and it just looks absolutely beautiful and i'm so glad that i finally got around to finishing it because um my sugar craft teacher used to be called iris in fact actually i think she's still called iris <laughs> just I don't do sugar craft anymore but um it it's just a flower that absolutely speaks to me and I am really really glad that I'm able to share this with you so I think I'm doing really good for time I'm getting emphatic nodding from Pixie B what it's almost all she's got enough time to tell them all the goodies make fluff oh I, okay what do I <laughs> I've got enough time to tell you about all the goodies uh, from Fluff Club before we do the um, raffle. raffle. <laughs> I'm losing words now. It's all going to go downhill. OK, so this is an absolutely excellent month to join Fluff Club because there is so much coming. Not only is the current box uh, an absolute treasure it's called the highlands and that's our current fiber club box we don't have many left but there are still some left um, that box will change at the start of next month when we will launch our new box i'm not going to tell you what that is just yet um, you have the hanging um, gnome project that that little guy there um, is going to be a free pdf we have a free pdf that launches every month in the club so you you always get something new stay members obviously you do get that uh, extra free gift the members monthly discount has also launched um i think that launched a couple of days ago i don't remember off the top of my head what i think it's the sheeps I think this month, it's all about the Highlands uh, for this quarter. So uh, I think we did, the Thistle was the first month. We did another one and now it's the Sheeps, I think. Is it? You don't know, do you? <laughs> She's like, I don't know. I'm not involved with that. <laughs> You're right there, Turkey. <laughs> so, um, yeah, every month the members get a discount. Um, 
there's there's so many benefits and also again you are going to get that free member gift if you spend over 30 pounds so go sign up for the club check out the benefits first go sign up um, it is a recurring membership but you could sign up today cancel it tomorrow you will still have your 30 days um, and then it won't renew we had unfortunately a couple of uh, weird issues with the manual memberships which we're still trying to get sorted out there is a, a whole team of support and coders and developers who are trying to figure out what happened <laughs> but for now the manual memberships have stopped it's just the auto recurring ones but you can manage all of your subscriptions from your account page so go and check out all of the benefits for fluff club and i'm gonna do that Ta -da -da. okay so let's crack on and let's end this with the raffle and if you bought one of the event kits then you will need to grab your raffle card if you are one of our lucky winners then please email your raffle ticket a, cop a picture of your raffle ticket to mums no makery pixies with an s makery pixies at gmail.com and uh, we will get your prizes out to you so the first prize is uh, a five pound voucher for the website drum roll or actually put on that one so a five pounds gift voucher number three four five so if you are ticket number three four five please send an image and these um raffle tickets stand so obviously if it is somebody who isn't watching at the moment then um, these raffle tickets stand. Flingo, you've got to be in it to win it, but these are these will, will stand. So the next prize is a template set of your choice. So I just saw somebody type in that they've got three, four, oh, they've got three, four, six. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> four, one, two, you get a template set of your choice. And the last one, which is the biggie, which is the £20 voucher for the website. And that is 319. So 345, you've won a gift, uh, £5 gift voucher. So please email uh, to makerypixies at gmail.com and we will send you your gift voucher. Any template set of your choice is 412 and 319 is the 20 pounds gift voucher so again please email a copy of your ticket to makerypixies at gmail.com so it is going to take me a few minutes to get everything live uh, on the website after the show ends so just give me a second hop on over if we do sell out of anything because i know that that has happened in the past we will endeavor to restock those items which we are restocking some of them we're not restocking um i i'm not sure some of the nutcracker kits i think once they're sold we're not restocking them at least until uh <laughs> the, the next christmas <laughs> the actual christmas um so just keep an eye on the website if anything does go out of stock we will endeavor to restock it asap and again there is that chat with us button on the website that you can get hold of me anytime so congratulations oh hang on Sandra's won that. Congratulations, Sandra. You've won the £20 voucher. And Jackie has the template of her choice. And Jackie has the template of her choice. Absolutely fantastic. Well, thank you very much, guys. And thank you to everybody for uh, spending a fab and fun, festive few hours with us today. Um, it has been a, a, an absolute giggle. Uh, B and I were uh, continuing to giggle well into the intermission after the first broadcast <laughs> this this afternoon but we're going to go and uh and sort of get make sure that everything's going on the website and then we're going to sit down and have put our feet up and have a cup of tea so like i said before thank you thank you so much uh for spending your time do give the videos and the the lives a, a like and a thumbs up uh but from for me for now from pixie b and all the makery pixies and crew we wish you all a very crafty day Thank you.